Welcome everyone, let's set up the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. So you're going to see this accessibility button, tap on this one, and if you need to do any changes uh, for accessibility purposes, you can change right here. But for now, we're just going to tap on the blue button in the center to continue. You're now going to be asked for where you are from. So you can see I have selected English United Kingdom, that is my region. So I'm going to tap on next. Now we're going to see for your review. You must tick I agree to the end user license agreement. It is optional if you uh, tick I agree to the sending of diagnostic data. For me, I'm just going to tick only I agree to the end user license agreement. Then I'll tap on next. Now you will need to connect to your Wi-Fi network. So I've already done this for the sake of time. If you do not want to do this, you can also insert a SIM card into your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. I will not cover that in this video, but there'll be a tutorial in the description if you need help uh, setting up dual SIM. So once you have connected to the network, just tap on next. Now it's asking for eSIM. eSIM is a SIM card which is in the hardware of your phone. You would need a QR code either on paper or from an email in order to activate eSIM. If you do not have a QR code or you have no clue what eSIM is, simply tap on skip and skip one more time. Now it's going to check for any software updates. If software updates are found, you will need to upgrade your phone to the latest version of Android before proceeding. Now it says copy apps and data. If you want to copy your apps and data from your old phone, maybe you have the old Samsung or an iPhone, you will need to get a cable which allows you to connect both the Z Fold 4 into the Android or iPhone. Usually you can just use the charging cable for that. And then you tap on next and follow the on-screen instructions. For me, I'm gonna tap on don't copy as I don't have an old device to transfer data uh, from. Now it's going to go to the Google sign-in page. There is an option to skip. However, I would recommend you sign in to your Google account. The main reason why is because Google is required for most of the services in your Samsung Z Fold 4. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to enter in my details now. And once you have logged in, just tap on I agree. And now it's going to add your Google account into your Samsung Z Fold 4. You're gonna have the option to use Google services. Back up to Google Drive, I personally turn this one off because I don't like the feature. It uses extra battery life and it uses extra data. I'm gonna scroll down. Uh, I personally turn on use location, but I turn off allow scanning. Use location is gonna use location services such as GPS, but allow scanning allows Google to track you even if your Wi-Fi is off, even if your Bluetooth is off, and it can still get your exact location. I don't like that, so I turn it off. Send usage and diagnostic data. If you want to help Google out, you can keep this one on. Me personally, I turn it off because I just don't want to send my data over. Now let's tap on accept, and it's going to say choose your search engine. So this will only apply to the Chrome app. So me personally, I'm going to select Google as I like that one the most, and I'll tap on next. Now it says protect your phone. So we have the option for face recognition, fingerprints, pattern, pin, and password. If I were you, I would not use face recognition. What it does is it uses your front camera and it can be fooled by a photo of yourself. So for the best security, I recommend you set up a fingerprint and then either a pattern, pin, or password. So I'll tap on fingerprints, continue, and now it wants me to set a pattern, pin, or passcode before I proceed. I'll personally choose a pattern, and you just need to follow the on-screen instructions here. So I create my pattern, tap on confirm. Now it just wants me to tap the power button, and you just tap a bunch of times, slightly move your thumb or finger while doing it so that as many angles as possible are gonna be recognized. And now we're good to go, the fingerprint has been added. Access your assistant with this command right here. Just scroll all the way down and you can either skip or agree. I personally am not someone who uses voice assistants. If you are, 
cool, let's tap on I agree, but for me, I will select skip. Access to assistant without unlocking your device. If you use the assistant, tap on I agree, but for me, I'm gonna tap on skip. Now it's gonna get my phone ready, and once we have done that, we should be almost there. So it's gonna get the recommended apps. You may see more apps here if you inserted a SIM card. You'll uh, probably have an app for your carrier to download. Um, let's just tap on next. Samsung account. So Samsung account is required for features such as uh, Samsung Pay, Secure Folder, many other features which are Samsung exclusive. So the best way is if you don't have a Samsung account, just tap on sign in with Google and your Google account will work with your Samsung account, which is really cool. So I'm looking and my old phone here, although it is the uh, new Z Fold 4, uh, Flip 4 even, if I take a look, I do have a new notification. So just check one of your older devices if you have a Samsung. And let's see here, we see new sign in attempts. I'll just tap on yes onto my pattern and I'll be good to go. Now here is the deal. If you don't have an old Samsung phone, instead you'll be sent a secure code to your phone number. So you will need to enter in the code you see from your phone instead. So now we have signed in successfully. It's gonna ask for the Samsung wallet. So we'll just give this a couple of seconds to load. And you can see they kind of catch you off. They have an I agree button but you don't need to agree because it's for marketing information. I personally like my emails clear of spam, so I will just tap on continue. Nearby device scanning, that is that location scanning I was talking about earlier. Definitely turn that one off. These other options, just customize your experience. I read them through. If you don't like them, turn them off. But I personally am okay with those other options. Taking care of your phone. So it's going to tell you just to... Use your phone properly, okay? So the main part is this phone is not uh, dust resistant, okay? You can see it's IPX8 water resistant only. And you can also see other stuff such as don't remove the protective film. I'm personally gonna take a screenshot of that, which they, of course, they wouldn't allow that in the setup screen. Let's just tap on next. You're all set up and tap on finish. And now we are brought to the home screen. Now, I'm gonna have a video in the description. First of all, how to insert the SIM card, but second of all, how to use your brand new Z Fold 4. It's gonna be a very long video. You can learn everything you need to know with the Z Fold 4. So if you, if you want to learn some new stuff, check out the link in the description down below. And with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later, bye-bye.